Red Bull x uh, the idea comes from the paragliding scene. Actually, uh, in former days, just people went up there, walked into the mountains and uh, flew down there. And that basic idea we took did Red Bull x the first time in 2003, now it's the fourth edition, and I think it's really a pure uh, adventure. And uh, this year we start in Salzburg, town town, which is really special because there are lots of people, there are medias, we give the athlete the platform uh, to start a real race. But then the challenge starts already. They have to uh, walk up or run up the Geisberg. It's the first turn point and there's already the first challenge because it's the Salzburg Land Geisberg König, the Salzburg Land Geisberg King. And the one who is first up there gets already a cool prize. So the one who reaches first uh, the turn point Glockner uh, gets also a cool prize. It's the Salzburger Land uh, Glockner King. Um, well, and uh, these prizes uh, will speed up, especially in the beginning of the race. Uh, then the, big, the, the first big distance, uh, it goes down to Italy, down to the Marmolada. I think one of the most fascinating alpine regions in the Alps, really like lots of rocks, uh, valleys going up and down, thousands of meters. Once they did Marmolada, their next turn point is, uh, it's, I think, the most challenging turn point. It's uh, the so-called Matterhorn. Matterhorn is a really famous mountain in Switzerland and the, the thing is, it's not really on the track. There are just glaciers around uh, and it's really hard to get there, not just like flying-wise, also walking-wise. Then they have to go back to the racetrack. Racetrack, I say, because there's a valley that crosses Switzerland from the east uh, to the west and uh, there they can really speed up. They can be fast, either walking or flying. And uh, if the weather is good, I expect their um, distances up to 200 kilometers a day, just flying-wise, air distance. Then it goes around uh, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is the highest mountain in Europe, and uh, you have to really know what's going on. So it will be a challenge, especially from, from the pilots, like from overseas, who are not used to these rough terrains. And uh, then, sure, the last turn point comes. Just imagine walking for, for days and nights, you know, and, uh, and, and I, just, I think just their motivation drives them to reach finally Mont Grand. And that's a big thing because Mont Grand, if you climb from the back, uh, you don't see the Mediterranean Sea. You come up to Mont Grand and to have all the pain behind you, only a handful of athletes uh, uh, can dream of that because uh, it will not be a lot reaching the goal, standing on Mont Grand and being in Monaco.